Live from the press box at UBC Thunderbird Arena for the Vancouver 2010 Paralympic Winter Games. Team Canada will face Team Japan. Here's a steal for Endo, busting in! Sub scores! The pass for Takahashi, Yuhara scores! Everybody is stunned in this building. It's over! Japan is headed to the gold medal game! You know, I know that uh, we're gonna meet the families later and they still love me and... In Torino, I remember that we went into the stadium for the opening ceremonies. Um, I was <clears throat> debating at that time if I was going to keep playing or not. And I was, you know, will I retire? Will I keep playing? And uh, as I walked in the stadium and they announced Canada and uh, just uh, the, the crowd, we were in Italy, we weren't in Canada and the crowd just the big applaud, it just, it was a wall of sound. I just walked in a wall of sound. I had the goosebumps and everything. So I was just, well, I said, I cannot stop here. I, I gotta go until Vancouver and live that moment. Canada! So it's, uh, it's a great, great honor to be uh, walking in that stadium uh, with the flag um, and to be the last country walking into. Uh, because it's in Canada, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be amazing. I guess the, the Canadian people are, in general, they're very respectful, very polite, and uh, uh, they accept uh, uh, with open open arms uh, visitors and people coming here in the country. And uh, we, we don't make a lot of waves and with our success, I guess I see it like that, yes. Now we're in hockey country, right? Canada, national sport is hockey. So people are hockey crazy here. So it, I mean, to see the people that are coming here to watch our games, uh, they're, they know their hockey, they love the game. They're gonna cheer really loud, it's gonna be amazing. Let's have a good one, all right? We hear a lot about winning three gold medals in Canada, the men's hockey, women's hockey, and sledge hockey. Um, but our goal is always winning the gold medal anyway, so that, that doesn't add any more pressure. Um, we just, um, I think we're gonna, we just gotta take the pressure, or the, I, I see it more as a support. Like a lot of people ask us or, or want us to win the gold medal, and we, we just, we gotta take that and take that energy that'll be in the crowd and then the message we receive from everywhere, from across Canada, Take that, cover that into motivation for us. And we really, really, really have to take it one game at a time. We can't look too far ahead. We're playing Italy on Saturday. That's the only game, that's the most important game right now. And the rest will come after that. Is after it. He's got Westlake. Here's the pass. They score. It's 3 0 Canada. We started a little bit slow, but in the third period, I think that's when we started to play like we can and, and we started to score goals and finally won that game. So it was a great finish. And I think we carried that energy in the third period. We carried it over to our game against Sweden. Um, and we hit it, we hit them like, as much as we could. And uh, our offense came through in a 10-1 win. 
Well, you don't often see 32 shots on net in sledge hockey. That is pretty impressive. I've been uh, playing sledge hockey since 1994, and uh, so that's it's my 17th season as a player. However, I was very lucky. I made the team in 1996, a national team. So I've been on a national team for 15 years, my 15th season. So it's uh, it's been a long, uh, long ride, but a uh, fun ride. I was just talking to two people and they're waiting to get tickets for the sledge hockey game and I said, well, Canada games are already sold out, but they said, no, no, we have our tickets, we just got to pick them up here, we can't wait to see it, so it's great. So it goes all the way up the stairs, so it's pretty sweet. A lot of experience, uh, 13 of the 15 players are returning from Torino in 2006, so 13 players have a gold medal already. We have two Paralympic rookies, we have a, a fast team and also physical as well and it's a privilege it's an honor for me to play with these guys because they're really really good and i'm just uh, even if i've been on the on the ice on the team for 15 years i still learn a lot from them uh, they're young they want to get better all the time and it forces me as a veteran to try to get better as well john is a great guy he's an incredible teammate he's a great captain and he's a good friend. He's been a good friend for 10 years to me. I, I'm not sure if he played hockey, stand-up hockey, uh, before he lost his leg uh, due to cancer, but uh, I know that uh, he fell in love with, uh, with the sport uh, when he tried it. I think he's a guy that I'll always remain friends with after I'm done coaching him. Uh, it's one of the great things that I've had with this team is becoming a, a good friend to some of the players, and I know I'll stay in contact with John for even after both of us are retired. Uh, John's definitely one of the one of my most favorite people on the team, and you know he, he's a hero to many, and he's been a hero to me since I've been on the team, and, and it's always been a pleasure to play with him. We have to feel like a family. If we want to win, if we ever want to win, you have to feel like a family. You got to be able to, you got to want to win for for your teammate, um, and you want to be able to go on the ice and fight for your teammate and take a hit or take a, you know get hurt for your teammate if, if you need to. So that's, 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 that's all my family. In behind the net it goes. Westlake chases after it. So does Bowden. Westlake to the blue line and too far for Labonte. It might go to the empty net. It's over. I wanted that gold medal really bad. You know, if we play those games again, maybe tomorrow and then next day, it'd be a re different result. But uh, can't do, can't do that. So we played them yesterday, and now we played this one today. Runs a little bit of traffic. Dixon skates out front, rips it, scores! A rocket snapshot by Adam Dixon. It's tied up. The referee's there. Where's the puck? It's a penalty shot against Norway. It's a penalty shot. Pedersen, Norway. Dick Handel scores on the deke, he beats Rosen. But Bowden gets to it. Westlake had to head off, Bowden with a shot from a sharp angle. Kendall looked like they had the power play there for about a minute and a half. Jean Labonte, the Canadian captain, gets it off the boards but not out. Hagen, shot, tip, scores! 3.6 seconds left, Norway's gonna win the bronze medal. Whatever the outcome is, I will not let that um, poison my life. Um, still, it was a great week, and it's uh, I gotta appreciate appreciate those moments. And um, I've got a lot of great memories, and that's what I'll remember. Sledge hockey, especially in Canada, will, will grow now that we've had the exposure we, we had. And there's certainly already, uh, I'm aware that there's already uh, people for, from various places over Canada that are asking how to, how to get involved. And how to, so it's good. It's, a good. it's positive. It's great for the sport. It's a sport I love. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad to see that. I'm happy to see that. And so, uh, yeah, so 
Okay. <laughs>